Sportu Mikora Pnisja Eurowizja. Jesteśmy właśnie na czeskich preselekcjach w Pradze SZ 2023. Mam dzisiaj przyjemność rozmawiać z Marketą Irglową. Hi! Hello! Uh, you're probably one of the most experienced artists here. How does it feel? Actually, it feels really good. Uh, I'm sort of assuming that I'm older than everybody, uh, which is probably true. And and I'm really enjoying that in general in my life, you know, that I, I've gotten to a certain age. I, I am wiser than I used to be. I have experience and and uh, and I use it and, I, and I'm grateful for it. Would you say it's your main adventure to hear in the press elections? No, actually, no, I don't. I don't think uh, uh, anybody has any advantage over uh, anybody because you know we, that's the, the great thing about Eurovision. It's it's all about songs, you know, and it's not more complicated than that. So everybody gets an opportunity to present a song and themselves pre performing the song, and then people either connect or they don't. But I don't think a lot of people think about you know people's history or whatever they achieve. They're just looking at songs. Your history is actually very rich. What was your first thought? What was your first emotion when you received your major trophies like Grammy or Oscar? Joy, pure joy that elevates you to like a high, high place. Amazing, you know, out of body experience. So my next question is that uh, you have such a rich experience. We might know you from last year when you tried to represent Iceland with your lovely song. Now you're here in Czech Republic selections. Why did you decide to take part in the selection? It is an opportunity for me to connect uh, with the Czech music scene and to meet people, uh, both just uh, industry people and uh, and musicians and singers, and to feel a part of a community in my own country where, where I come from, which is a big thing, you know, and it's not something that I, I would like to lose over time. And in fact, I feel like I've kind of lost the connection in general with the world because I've been in a bubble having children and, you know, being sort of a very sort of insular in a way. So, um, so this is this is my time to kind of let people know that I exist and that I still make music and and of course Czech Republic is is a place where I want to do that probably more than anywhere. Absolutely, that's lovely. My next question will be about the Eurovision Song Contest. What's your first memory about the Eurovision and what is your favorite song from there? My first memory is uh, when I moved to Iceland and uh, I uh, everybody was talking about this thing that I didn't know it was and they were like what you don't know Eurovision like how come <laughs> have you been living in a cave and I was like no show me what is it and uh, so we watched it together and um, with with uh, family and and I was blown away because it was so different to what I had experienced or known of sort of music and performing myself. Uh, but for some reason, I just I I just got really excited about it straight away because it's cultures coming together, you know, different languages, uh, and and people sort of it's like a football match, but for people who like music, basically, you know. So so I remember that you know being kind of uh, summer in in Iceland or in May, but that's basically summer in Iceland, and just being with friends. And and family and, and enjoying. Why should people vote for Marketa Iglova in this selection? I would like people to vote if they connect to the song, you know, and uh, with with me. And if they decide to vote for somebody else, uh, that's wonderful too because everybody deserves that vote. They were amazing tonight, and and their music is something that I genuinely enjoy. And I'm so happy that I got to know them through this competition. That's lovely. My last question will be about your plans, because uh, as we know, you have a tour in the USA planned for this year. Can you tell us something about it? Yes, it's a tour with my my very old friend, uh, Glenn Hansard, one of my oldest friends, actually. We used to play music together. He's, in fact, the reason why I'm a musician today, uh, because he encouraged me and he, he taught me a lot as far as music goes. And uh, we used to travel the world together. We were in a movie together. Uh, we won an award together. And, and now, after all these years, we're getting to, to go and play music together again, which is something that, you know, I was always hoping you know, would happen when the time was right. So so I look forward to it very much. That's great. Thank you so much for your time. Lovely meeting you. Good luck. Lovely meeting you. Thank you so much. When I'm happy.